Hey guys, this is Andres Mirnov reporting for the Fastlane truck from the Ford Proving Grounds in Dearborn, Michigan. And Ford flew me out here for their future conference, but here at the Proving Grounds, there's a lot more trucks and vans. And behind me is the 2017 Ford Transit. This is a dually power stroke diesel with the Winnebago upfit for RVing. And this one is really interesting. So let's check it out with everything you ever wanted to know. Can you introduce yourself uh, for those who may not know you? My name's Tim Steer. I'm the product marketing manager for Ford Motor Company and all of our commercial vans. Nice. And what are we standing in front of here? Uh, what we're standing in front of is the uh, uh, cl a Class C Transit Motorhome. This is the Winnebago Fuse. Um, it's uh, one of uh, several models that are out in the marketplace. There's about five or six companies building off of the Transit Cutaway platform now. Uh, it's been around for about nine months. It's doing great in the industry. People really love the driving dynamics and the fuel economy from the new modern transit platform. Well, can we go inside and check it out? Absolutely, come on in. Okay. So you basically have a couple of options with the transit, right? It can be a cutaway or a chassis, is that right? Uh, the transit is the um, um, most configurable complex vehicle manufacturer in North America. You got a van, a wagon, chassis cab or a cutaway. Mm -hmm. So uh, over 60 different body styles are produced at our Kansas City assembly plant. Uh, we also produce it in Coachelli, Turkey for the rest of the world, mainly Europe, um, in a similar number of configurations. Okay. And this is, can you briefly describe this version of it? Okay, so th this particular version, as we said, is, is based off of a, a power stroke uh, diesel transit cutaway. It has a gross vehicle weight rating of uh, 10,360 pounds. And a cutaway is basically the, the, the motorhome builder is buying a transit chassis, and right here is where the body's cut away. They then develop their entire motorhome chassis. The benefit of it is it's wider than a smaller Class B, which we'll probably see that in a little bit as well. Okay. So you have a little bit more space. Um, many of these have slide outs, as does this. So when you go to the back of the vehicle, you see a full size double bed uh -huh, and, slide out. and a TV right up there to the right so while the, the vehicle is smaller than a traditional RV you're getting a lot of the luxury amenities that these customers are now demanding much higher finish uh, hardwood floors um, do you have any idea how much this unit runs um, like I this? believe this one is, is around a hundred and five thousand Okay. Um, it has solar panels on top. It's charging right now. The fans, the lights are all being run off that right now. A lot of the consumers that are interested in these smaller Class C's and Class B's um, are really um, interested in the uh, technology and the innovation and the quality of materials that are going into them. So as you can see right up here, by using our new modern transit, you can get the benefit of SYNC 3, Sirius Travel Link, navigation, and really the driving dynamics and fuel efficiency that we built into our all new transit, you know, that we launched in 2015. And how much a van like this, how much can it tow, the transit? Uh, transit maxes out at 7,500 pounds. Okay. Um, in the, um, so for those RVers, you don't see as many cars being towed behind these because right. they're, they're really looking for different things. Maybe a boat? Uh, you could tow a small boat, okay. you could tow you know, a couple dirt bikes, no problem. Um, yeah, but towing is not it's the forte of these smaller, smaller RV models. If, you, if you're looking to do that, then you go to an E450 or a larger strip chassis motorhome with much higher, much larger powertrains, much higher gross uh, carrying weight rating. And uh, these vans are not rated by the EPA as far as fuel economy, right? But no. do you have any estimates like a RV this size, what people can see? Um, RV this size, is, you know, you're probably 17, 18, 19. Um, okay. It all depends how you how you weight it and how hard you're driving it. But the uh, this is a diesel, um, and that's the, what the majority of these are. The diesel has a higher uh, max allowable frontal area, uh -huh. um, so they're always going to go to that because they want to put the biggest body on it. Okay. But a, a diesel in general over the base gas is about 30 to 40 percent fuel economy depending on the configuration. Okay, so these seats are quite uncomfortable and it's a tight fit in the back of the prison transport 
based on the Ford Transit chassis. Um, there are seat belts here, but this is basically a steel box. Uh, I really hope to never get a ride in this for real. Oh, wow. Okay, no more. Okay, seat belts go there. Door closes. No more. Now Ford says that the Transit van is the most configurable vehicle sold in North America. And according to what I see here, it looks to be the case. I mean, you have a flatbed van, you have a Winnebago, you have a luxury shuttle van, you have a prison van to carry inmates and everything in between. They sell cutaways and chassis cabs, different lengths and different roof heights. Um, there's a lot of configuration in the Transit. And that's probably the reason why it's the most popular commercial van in the United States. This is yet another option based on our class industry leading transit platform. Okay. So what we're looking at here is a uh, Waldock conversion van uh, built in Minnesota. Um, one of three companies that are producing uh, conversion vans on the Ford Transit platform right now. This is a nine passenger um, luxury conversion van. Um, either used for individual consumers that want to you know, go to the football game in style um, or a high-end uh, shuttle. Um, many other companies are using this. This is a medium roof, long wheelbase model. This is equipped with the twin turbo EcoBoost motor. Okay. Um, ride and handling uh, far superior to what's been offered in the North American market uh, in the past for uh, vans. Um, you know, hardwood floors. Um, really luxurious, really comfortable uh, seating, 32-inch flip-down TV, um, Apple TV, DVD player, uh, wireless headphones. Cup um, holder shades, everything. Power shades in every window, um, fold-down back bench that'll turn into a bed. Um, the, the real surprise and delight on the transit platform is how well um, it has performed from a ride and handling perspective. Um, they, I, you know, I always say that they drive small. You know, many North American customers hadn't seen the larger, medium, and high roof vans, and they were afraid they weren't going to handle it well. Mm -hmm. um, that is not an issue. They, they really love them. With the EcoBoost, they really perform. And then when companies such as Waldock take it to the next level, they're riding around something that's more luxurious than the last limousine they've been in. So um, right now, we're just, uh, you know, really raising, helping these companies raise awareness for these new products. You mentioned the 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6. Mm -hmm. There is a Gen 2 motor, a next generation motor, an F-150. Will the Transit van receive that same engine? Or is there a plan for that? i um, not going to talk about future product actions okay. today, but one of the real benefits that Transit has had, being a global van platform, uh, many of our powertrains and our transmissions and other components were proven out in other vehicles before we ever launched it here in North America. So when it was new in North America, the, the gas engines came out of the F-150 that was launched in 2011, and the diesel was in transit since the late 90s in Europe. So um, by leveraging our global product lineup, and uh, you know, we're able to come out with the vehicles and the, and the features and powertrains that they're looking for, and we're, we're constantly talking to our consumers, retail or fleet, um, finding out what they want and working on the next versions. Okay, the second question was related to what you just said. Um, do I have to be a company or a fleet to buy a Transit, or can a regular person walk in and buy one? How does it work? Anybody can buy a Transit. Okay. Ah, this luxury conversion. Oh my goodness. I think I can spend the whole day here. These luxury leather seats are so soft. They're like a couch. Ah, and a big screen TV. I can watch the football game here. I'll just relax. Why did I sit in the prison van? That was really dumb. This, this is where I should spend my entire day. Go back to tfltruck.com for more news, views, and real-world reviews, and everything you want to know segments like this.